I made the servo tester and I thought I'd do a little demo of how it works. Uh, it is a servo tester with a lot of features that you can adjust um, to do a wide range of things, which I'll show you. I also have a 2.4 gigahertz uh, spectrum analyzer and a simple implementation of Tetris. If I turn it on, it will start up in the sweep servo tester mode. Uh, before I actually get into that, let me show how the touch screen works because there is a touch screen. Um, so if you kind of divide the screen into triangles, I have it set up so that if you push anywhere in this triangle, it will interpret that as uh, like an up button press. And of course, you have down, left, and right. I ended up doing that because it was uh, a lot easier to control it that way than to set up regions that you could touch on as if it was like an icon, uh, like on a like you do on a cell phone or whatever. Um, it's a simple four-wire resistive touchscreen, not a you know capacitive multi-touch high-quality one that you might find in a tablet or a phone, and that ended up working out best. So back to the servo tester. See if I can get that in frame. Okay. So it's currently in sweep mode, and there are five settings you can adjust in sweep mode. You have the two positions, abbreviated POS1 and POS2. Uh, you have the length of each frame, which is currently set to 10 milliseconds. And in the sweep mode, after each frame, it will advance or move back by the step amount, and that determines how fast it'll sweep. Uh, you also can set a limit on the number of cycles, or leave it at zero for no limit. The number of completed cycles are listed down here. The current voltage is listed here, and then current measurements uh, for all four channels of the servo tester are listed here. And this, happens, this servo happens to be plugged into channel one right now, and you can see just a little bit of current being drawn since there's no load on the servo. Uh, so as I mentioned you can change the step amount to make the servo move faster or, or sweep faster or slower and I'll show you that. So if we go down to step and then push right to increase you can push and hold and it'll keep going and so you can make it go quite a bit faster. Uh, if you want to, you can even be rather abusive and push it really hard. And uh, yeah, so that's kind of abusive and it's drawing quite a bit more current right there. Let's not kill the servo. So you can make it move real slow or faster. Anyway, so that's the sweep mode. If we go back up, we can now choose the other modes. We have three POS, which is three position, and it uh, does kind of what you would expect. There's three positions and it'll cycle between the three. Um, it'll wait in this case one second between each uh, of the three positions. Two position mode is identical but again you have two positions and right now we're waiting 1.8 seconds between the two. And then we have one position mode which doesn't move the servo at all, it'll command it to be one position and it'll stay there. Uh, you wouldn't use it too often but it would be nice uh, like if you were gonna set up a model airplane and you wanted to get your servo arms uh, positioned right, that kind of thing. Um, if we go back, we'll go to the spectrum analyzer. This is the live view. Let me zoom in on that. All right, 
So it is based on the TI CC2500 RF uh, chip. It's for the 2.4 giga, uh, gigahertz ISM band, uh, and it will sweep or it will uh, well yeah it'll sweep across from uh, 2400 megahertz up to 2483 on the right, kind of indicated by the bottom line showing that span. Uh, it'll also look at the current uh, span and uh, figure out what frequency has the highest amount of power on it and it'll show that uh, right there on the peak line. So there's the frequency and then the measured power in dBm. Right now it's just kind of background noise from Wi-Fi and other stuff in a residential neighborhood. Um, but I'll show um, an easy way to look at that peak value. Uh, yeah, I made a uh, also a CC2500 based uh, item, a little transmitter for a two-wheeled robot that I had, or that I have. And it is uh, just transmitting on the center of the band. It isn't frequency hopping, so it'll be a good demo of this uh, spectrum analyzer. So if I take my transmitter and turn it on, you'll see right in the center is where it's transmitting. And so this is the RF module right here. There's a PCB antenna printed on there. And then the RF module in here is right around here. And so if I just hold my transmitter up to the spectrum analyzer, you'll see the peak is rather distinct. And it shows the frequency and the power. And if you look carefully, you'll see the blinking green dot right above the peak. And the green dot will mark wherever the uh, peak uh, power frequency happens to be. And so if I turn this transmitter back off, you'll see that green dot kind of uh, hops around to whatever happens to be at the peak. Um, we'll turn this back on. Now there's also a waterfall mode, uh, although it isn't quite perfect. So I'll show you that. Um, Unfortunately, the LCD I'm using, uh, the controller in it, does not have a uh, sweeping mode. So it just kind of scrolls, or not scrolls, but it draws downward. And if I turn off the transmitter, you can now see that there's nothing there in the middle. And now there is. And now there isn't. Uh, and it'll just kind of sweep down and then roll up to the top and start overriding, as you can see. So um, it isn't perfect, but it's a nice way to look at history, uh, and it's better than not having a waterfall mode at all. And lastly, we have Tetris. So we're back to live view. We're back to the servo tester modes. Uh, oh, there's also a calibration screen that I didn't really go over. But uh, you can calibrate the uh, touch screen, the voltage reading, and the four current readings. Um, and I've already done that, so I'm not going to bother redoing that. But it'll save everything in the microcontroller's flash. So, you know, it's non-volatile. But here's Tetris. So, let's see if I can get this without reflections. Uh, and you can, you know, play Tetris. And, yeah, so obviously, you know, you can move left and right. You can rotate by pushing up. And you can push down to make it go down a little bit faster. Uh, anyway, so, yeah, it was just something kind of, uh, there's another 300 lines of code or so for Tetris, so I figured why not, let's do it. Uh, anyway, so that's kind of my servo tester. And uh, turn it off, turn it back on, it'll go back into sweet mode. Anyway, so it was a fun project, and I thought I would share it, and uh, I have the code up on GitHub. Also thought I'd show a, a quick little clip of um, the interference that a consumer uh, microwave oven will put out on the 2.4 band. So if I put a little glass of water in my microwave, If I uh, go to the live view 
uh, spectrum analyzer. Let me see if I can do this one-handed. Yeah, okay, that's not going to focus up too well. Uh, anyway, if I start the uh, microwave, so get the glare off. See, there's quite a bit of noise added. Uh, a lot, actually. <laughs> and if I turn off the microwave, it goes away. Turn it back on. And there you go. Anyway, just a quick little demo.